Angel, it's great to catch up with you again. Um, can you start by just saying a little bit about ID Agris and what it is? Hello, Paul. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here at Pharma Forum. It's really a big pleasure. Well, Ideagoras. Ideagoras is a social media advertising company which was founded two years ago and we provide social media services mainly to the pharmaceutical industry. So what were you doing before Ideagoras? What inspired you to embark on your own venture? Well, before starting Ideagoras, I have been working for 10 years for Publicis Healthcare and for Global Healthcare Madrid. I was the managing director of those uh, branch offices and I used to get the position of co-president of Publicis Healthcare. Well, uh, very good experience in, in, in all counts in, in terms of uh, uh, working for uh, global and very important companies in terms of governing people, in terms of managing change, in terms of being uh, responsible of uh, P&L in terms of international experience, but something was changing uh, at the end of the last decade. And that change has to do with the reality of the new social web. And that was not caught for many, many, many players in the industry. And uh, with that on mind and thinking that that was going to affect clearly the, to the way uh, pharmaceutical uh, brands were going to be built, uh, I finally decided to start this uh, venture and uh, apart from that it was about time <laughs> to go ahead with my own and personal project. How do you see the advertising model changing pharma then as the digital space grows and develops? Well, good question. The uh, pharmaceutical, uh, the marketing pharmaceutical landscape is facing right now, as you all know, a uh, big, how can I say, identity crisis, okay? Uh, and the point is that uh, the way things have been done in this uh, sector during the last three years are no longer be the same uh, in the coming years, for many reasons. Uh, we all know that uh, patents are expiring, we all know that uh, there are no uh, new blockbusters, uh, at least at the same, same rhythm that during the last 10-15 uh, years. We all know that we are living in a market of commodities in most of the uh, therapeutic areas. Uh, we all know that these companies are laying off uh, uh, their traditional commercial muscle, many, many uh, people in the sales force area are, are being, uh, are, are being uh, fired and uh, something has to be done to replace the way uh, these companies uh, fit their relationships with uh, the healthcare practitioners, with the healthcare professionals. And uh, something has to be done as well in the new landscape in which the patient, the figure of the patient uh, is absolutely different. We are having an empowered patient, we, are, have, a, we have a connected patient, we have a, a more empowered patient, and uh, this is changing everything. I used to say to the pharmaceutical companies that they have to observe, uh, to observe this uh, change of paradigm and take action. Uh, I understand that uh, the fears they, they, they face when they think on, on, on open the conversation to the social web, but the point is that the conversation is there, it's out there, and at least they have to listen, and, uh, and uh, not only listen, but to uh, take a new step uh, in trying to uh, enter into the dialogue uh, with their stakeholders. Now you're also involved in a number of live events, I know. How do you see these sitting alongside online events? Yes, Paul, you are right. We are involved in many, many, many live events and that has to do with, uh, how can I say, uh, the first uh, month of, months of, of life of this baby called Ideagoras because 
we are not only uh, trying to position in ourselves uh, in this uh, uh, sector, uh, but also we, we are paving the way. Uh, we are paving the way, uh, uh, trying to educate about the category. And this is resulting in many, many workshops. Uh, some of them are our proper, uh, in, in, uh, our own, sorry, initiative. And some of them has to do with uh, direct request from pharmaceutical companies uh, trying to know what's going on, what, what is social uh, media, uh, what is behind this uh, idea of uh, sharing or co-creating co co uh, a brand uh, with uh, the no longer passive uh, stake stakeholders of the industry. And uh, uh, concretely, 2009 was a, a great year in terms of uh, uh, going to the headquarters of uh, pharmaceutical companies and uh, having the opportunity to be with all of them, uh, providing this new big picture of uh, the social web and the great opportunities that are behind this new way of communicating. So what would you say is the real key to integrating offline and online activities? Good question, Paul. <laughs> Well, offline, online, how to combine that uh, to uh, ways of uh, communicate. I think that uh, as everything in life, this, uh, the key is the attitude, the attitude towards uh, the change. We, we are living uh, a time of ch changes and, uh, and it's worth doing to try to do things differently. Mainly if that leads to, to you in getting uh, a very differential position in uh, what regards uh, your competitors. Uh, I understand that uh, uh, everything which sounds uh, new or unknown uh, can sound uh, scary as well. Uh, I understand the, the fear uh, to give the step on trying to do things uh, uh, differently. But uh, there is no way, because uh, uh, at the end of the day, right now, the brands are being co-created, not only for the advertiser, not only for the marketer, not only for the advertising agency or for the traditional media, but also for those that no longer will be passive in the uh, communication chain. They are talking, they are creating brands, they are conveying a brand sentiment in their conversation and this has to be uh, taken into account. And just finally, I've got to say, where next for ID Agoras? Where do you see it going? Well, good question. What's next with ID Agoras? Well, I don't know. I don't have uh, neither crystal ball and uh, I don't have uh, patience. I am very impatient. but. Uh, uh, to be uh, honest, I have to say that uh, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, uh, infer uh, when we were setting up uh, our company and putting in a paper the concept uh, of uh, what uh, Ideagoras uh, wanted to stand for uh, two years ago and that we were going to, to, to get what uh, we are right now. And the ROI is coming and has come in terms of awareness and in terms of of image, uh, but we are still a, a, a startup. We have to keep uh, going in the same uh, di direction. We have to keep going on learning of uh, those uh, uh, from those people uh, so generous that are willing to share their thinking and their experiences, and uh, and uh, keep working, keep working, and keep uh, enjoying. Uh, and uh, this is the, the, the field of our uh, work and uh, this is a point that we when relate with our clients that we uh, uh, transfer to them and, uh, and that really transcends when we uh, talk with them and they have uh, in front of them a great uh, future uh, opportunity if they deal properly with the markets of conversations 
and uh, we can be a new strategic partner for them for managing this change and for dealing, and f and for dealing with uh, this new uh, exciting way of building brands. And uh, thank you so much, Paul, for, 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 for this space, for this time. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting in touch with you and with uh, this great space uh, called uh, Pharma Forum. Best. Thanks very much for your time. It's been great speaking with you.